Our next topic is principal stresses and principal planes. What are principal stresses? Principal stresses. As the name suggests, principal, it means these are some maximum stresses or minimum stresses, right? Suppose we have a stress element like this. This is our stress element and we have applied some stresses here. Some stresses we have applied, suppose sigma x and sigma y. And along with that, we have applied the shear stresses. Shear stresses are also applied on this. So we have applied normal stresses, sigma x and sigma y, and we have applied the shear stresses. And suppose this element is weak in tensile or compressive, in weak in normal stresses means the element is weak in normal stresses. Sigma x is suppose higher than sigma y, both are tensile, sigma x is greater than sigma y. So one will be thinking that we have applied this stress sigma x and this element will fail due to this stress, due to this stress, sigma x. But this is not so, because in this stress element, there may be any plane, there may be any plane on which the normal stresses are still higher compared to these sigma x, the applied stresses. There are chances that there will be a plane in this stress element at certain angle theta at which the stresses, normal stresses, because this element is weak in normal stresses or tensile stresses, normal stresses are much higher than the applied stresses, right? And say this is our that stress that that plane that this is the plane on which on which uh, the stresses are normal stresses are higher. I am showing it here like this. And suppose these stresses are sigma one and sigma two. Right? I can show here also. These are uh, you can see, you can show here also, that is not a problem. Like this is a stress element and this is rotated, you can think of this. And the stresses are, principal stresses are sigma 1 and sigma 2. So sigma 1 and sigma 2. So at this angle theta, we have got a stress element condition on which the stresses are sigma 1 and sigma 2 and you will find that you will find that on this element one of the stress may be sigma 1 or sigma 2 one of the stress sigma 1 say will be greater than sigma x it means the normal stresses obtained are higher than the applied stresses applied normal stresses and the chances of failure is at these stresses sigma 1 and sigma 2. So these stresses, these stresses sigma 1 and sigma 2 which are uh, higher than this sigma x and there is no shear stress at this element. We have applied shear stresses but on this element there is no shear stress. So these stresses are called principal stresses. So one of the stress is maximum and another will be minimum, right? If sigma 1 is maximum, sigma 2 will be minimum. So principal stresses are the uh, and there may there cannot be any other element to any angle on which the stresses may be higher than this. This is the maximum stress. And if this is maximum sigma 1, this sigma 2 will be minimum. So say sigma 1 is sigma maximum normal stress, then sigma 2 will be sigma minimum at normal to the sigma 1, right? So principal stresses are the, the stresses. which are either maximum or minimum normal stresses, normal stresses.
and and acting on a plane plane on planes where there is no shear stress no shear stress at these planes sigma, at the planes of norma, sigma 1 and the planes of sigma 2 there is no shear stress shear stress will be zero so these are the characteristics of principal stresses that these are either maximum or minimum so one of the stress will be maximum say sigma 1 another will be perpendicular to this that will be minimum so maximum and minimum and you can see here we have there is no shear stress on this element no shear stress or here you can see no shear stress on this element so and acting on the planes where there is no shear stress so these are the principal stresses and what is principal strain the planes the planes where these principal stresses are acting are the principal planes so principal plane what is principal plane then the plane on which principal stresses are acting so here uh, you can see here this plane this plane this plane is the one of the principal plane and this plane is another principal plane because there are principal stresses are acting on these two planes right so these are the principal stresses and principal planes.